think in terms of trilogies because it sounds like we're more intelligent, more profound, more academic. Um, it does have more relationship to Brazil than I thought when we began the project, um, because Brazil really was looking at 1984 when we made it. And this has ended up, because it's grown since the, we began, and it seems to be very much about the time we're living in now. The future seemed to have come and caught us before we caught the future. The futures are now running backwards, I think. And um, so I think it's about life now, how we work with the, the connected world, the web, how we, do we have real relationships anymore? Or do we only have virtual relationships? Um, these are the things that it seems to be about. Also, some good jokes in it as well. Are you thinking about that? Because I don't see myself either as a nerd or a geek. I just thought, this is the way the world is becoming. I find when I sit in front of my computer in the morning that I become captured by it. I become seduced by it. I'm allowed access to what appears to be all the knowledge of the world. At the same time, my wife, my wife wonders what has happened to me as a human being. Um, so I, I think it does, from when we showed it to people, it does seem to resonate with the younger people, the, the people who really are you know, connected to the internet as much as they are. It becomes consume, it begins to consume your life. Um, and I found they immediately respond to it. They understand who this character is, I think. Uh, the more that we're connected to the web, the more we understand it. As, um so over the past year, the, the way the, the technological world is moving, there seems to be thrust upon us mainly in the past 15 years without any of us really understanding the consequences of it and it being fed to us like it must be better for us, it's, it's, it's bound to be good for us. And I think it's slowly, it's gathering pace in a way that none of us are quite understanding the consequences and personally, I, I felt myself in the past year withdrawing from it. I'm on my computer far, far, far less. Uh, I, I write, I write with a pen, I'm actually a typewriter these days because I, 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 I feel worse when I go to bed. If I spend too long on a computer, I feel tainted and I think it does something without sounding too pretentious. I think it does something to the soul um, to invest too much of your time and your heart in only technology. Um, and that, that, that's, that's the main thing that the film talks to me about, and that's just a personal uh, view of, of the look I have made. Yeah. Um, solitude and, and resentment. Yeah. Um,
So, there we go. What was interesting is we had so little time from the moment we, well, Jenny Casarado, my agent, said, what do we call Nick Lasharte about uh, zero zero? And that was basically at the end of May or beginning of June, and by October we were shooting the film. So everything had to be done by instinct. We didn't spend a lot of time. I mean, when I saw Melody Steve, I said, oh, fantastic. And I think the only suggestion I gave you was think of Marilyn Monroe and Judy Holliday and see if you can combine them in some way. But and that's, that's basically how we work. We work very fast by getting to the right people and then relying on their, you know, their character, their brilliance, whatever. I mean, I mean David, I've wanted to work with for years, and it's the same thing. Ah, David, you're free. Let's go. And so things are very quick. I can't remember the question.